Are we on? Yes. Yes. All right, cool. Hello, everybody. My name is Winona, and unfortunately, OBS is being a bitch right now for me. So, let's say, wait, let's say, so we only have one recording. So, hopefully, knock on wood, nothing goes <laughs> wrong. Let's say, but. Hello, and welcome to this 12 FPS called Office Hours. Again, I'm Wynona, I'm playing Scribble Scrambles, and I'm with the wonderful, amazing, greatest friend. Hello, uh, I am Oatmeal. Um, I will be playing the professor. Um, and my mic through Discord has been acting up a little bit, so if I get cut off, tell me, and I will repeat what I said. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh... So, um, this is taking place a uh, little bit after um, Ink on the Clock Tower. Um, it is uh, not the day after, but the day after that. Um, and a professor didn't stick around uh, University City. Uh, he pretty much stayed to su supervise some, uh, science and, uh, regroup with the others, uh, for, uh, a little bit, uh, and then got out of Dodge. Which, fully understandable after what happened. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, and Scribbles had to, to say, like, his soon-to-be wife is, is is head of university. He is trying to help her put out all the fl fires, and God, there were a lot of fires. Mm -hmm. I say, not only with the media, but with the students and with the other st faculty that were affected. Mm -hmm. There was a lot. Mm -hmm. And not only that, they quickly realized, oh, yeah, this thing, there's probably is not going to be safe for us. I say, probably in, even in Toontown. We'll probably have to move into the castle earlier where there is, like, an army of robots. <laughs> Look, they're construction workers, but they also know how to fight. Uh-huh. So they had to move in a bit early, so Scribbles is trying to preliminary try to get that all settled, but in the middle of all this, he's like, you know, I've I've heard a bit what happened with Professor. I, I feel like I need to check up on him. I need to go to Bill's town. Mm -hmm. Because that's where he knows the say the ellipsis is parked. That's right. That's where it's been more or less stuck uh, <laughs> since it um, uh, fizzled out a little bit. It's uh, it's been going through some extensive repairs. Yeah. And they say again, like they say, Omil said it has been a day or so since this has happened, and. Scribbles does go a bit early on the day he goes over to the ellipsis because just like, all right, let's just do this right straight in the morning. I say, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I have literally played, John, this, this is the only thing I have to do for today. Hmm. Yeah. And he, I say, he goes to Bill's town, I say, and goes to where the ellipsis is and gives a small rap on the door. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a moment, and then, uh, it opens up. And, uh, the, the professor is there. Oh, hello. Scribbles. Hey, professor. Uh, may I come in? Yes, yes, please. Scribbles walks in, and is a, as is usual, greeting, gives a little light tap on the main console, and he's like, hello, Ellie. Mm -hmm. And he it turns back to the professor once he does his usual meet, meet and greet. He's just like, so, how, say, how have you been handling yourself? Hmm. He just kind of, like, uh, he sighs, uh, uh, better well that's good to know, to know. as mm. he sort of lean 
he like leans a bit on the console. He's just like, I just look. I a lot has happened, and I just want to make sure you're okay after hearing at least hearing through grapevines of what happened with you. I am hoping that maybe you give me a bit more clarity on that. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, um... Hmm. Uh, he's, he's, uh... I think going to, uh... Start walking down to the interior of the ellipsis. Um, he's... It, it's not far. He's going towards the, uh, kitchen. Yeah, and Scribbles is falling behind him. There's... Uh, it's, it's not a good situation. That they, you've been informed about that thing underneath the city, calling itself the creativity. Yes, I'm well aware of that thing. Mm hmm. Well, uh, uh, and he's. In the kitchen, he'll just start, like, uh, making tea. Um, so I had a, uh, one-on-one, -on -one, um, with it, uh, kind of by accident, um, kind of not. Scribbles nod. I have heard a little bit about that situation, and mm -hmm. I'm more... I'm just gl glad that you made it back safe. <laughs> yes, as am I. Um, but continue, I want to hear it coming from your mouth and not just mm -hmm. Luma's. Right, and well, I did... Hmm. I, I did sort of round off the edges for them, because I was a mixed company, didn't, uh, necessarily want to give all the details. Um, Loom was nice, but I'd only just met him. No, of course. Um, well, and I, well, it was my first time meeting Lynn as well, although he sort of waves a hand. I know I can trust her with you all, certainly. Yes, and with who you keep company with nowadays, that to say, I'm surprised you haven't even met her sooner. I know, it's a bit strange, but, well, I, I, I think she's been busy. Uh, never mind, though. Um, um, so, right, uh, went down. I didn't, uh... You know, there the, the, the thing was, uh, just sort of still, I, I couldn't, I could tell it was alive, I didn't know it was awake, if it was. Um, it might have lured me down there, uh, it might have been fully aware that I was near it and just not reacted until I essentially tried to stab it. I was trying to take a sample. Um, but whatever the case, uh, it... It grabbed me, taunted uh, me a bit, it recognized me, very obviously. Um, but, uh, it, um, well, I I'd had the, uh, I'd had the, uh, the foresight to, uh, give myself a bit of, uh, magical shielding, um, at least uh, around my mind, because I, well, I knew that this thing, uh, uh, well, we know that at least through uh, Umbra that it, it liked, seemed to like charms. Um, yes. But well, got, got a confirmation of that, but what it did was it, um, uh, it took a few tries, but it, um, well, it, 
got through my uh, magical shielding and uh, pretty much just just blasted through my mental shields um, and just started sorting through things. Things that I wasn't thinking of. This was no detect thoughts. It, it was things that I wasn't thinking about, things that were deeper in there. Things from a long time ago. Um, and over large spans of time, too. It didn't just uh, take a small piece. I don't know how much it got. I I tried, I don't know, I might try again to sort of replay it again and, and, and try and analyze what it was going through, what it got, because I, I really hope that it didn't get everything, because that is catastrophic on it's already extremely bad that it has what it has. If it got everything, then it knows everything I know about time SARS and what we can do. And it would know how to more or less operate the ellipsis. It's honestly a bit of a uh, relief that she is simply not functional right now. Even if it got here and tried to operate it, it wouldn't work. Scripples nods as as he, he's been explaining this, he's been getting closer and closer to the professor and eventually when he's done with his, his, his talking, he puts a hand on his shoulder. I don't... This is bad. I... To be able to get past your defenses, and not only that, deal memories, or at least look into someone's mind, that's... That's something that is very powerful magic, which... I know. Makes sense. It's a... It's, a, it's basically a... Uda Magicae on steroids. It's right. the worst version of that kind of creature. <sighs> <sighs> Professor, seriously, how are you taking this? Because I, you know that I know what has happened in your past. Mm hmm. I want to make sure that you are getting the support that you need right now. <sighs> it's... I'm not doing so hot. I have been getting support. The, 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 the people who were with me at the time were... They were all very nice and considerate as as much as could be afforded given the situation and and we did regroup later i and then after that i um uh once I got here, I was able to um i didn't even really explain all that had happened, but I I got comfort from some of my local friends. <sighs> but I can't I can't stop thinking about it. There's this It, it can't... 
every moment that that thing remains alive and and remains worse in contact with the other whatever other entities are in this this organization it's a part of I, just the utter chaos of of spreading the things that I know that it might have possession of would just be catastrophic. This this is if this becomes an information breach if this if this becomes the information breach that I fear it could become this is the sort of matter where the time SARS would intervene. And that's the crux of it all. We don't know how much information it has taken no. or gained access to. And I understand deeply that fear. And if time czars get involved, this could escalate the situation to unparalleled degrees. Yeah, I... Uh... Gribbles! Gently pats him and slightly rubs his say it back lightly, like in that comforting motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his shoulders just kind of drop, and he's like doing the sort of exasperated, like looking at the ceiling thing. Uh, I don't even want to start. Think I don't even want to start thinking about how how they would try to deal with the situation and how I would have to run damage control. Uh, but yeah. it's I it was it was it was bad enough what it did uh, and uh, it's I've had my memories messed with before, and it's never pleasant. I really wish, actually, that things would stop doing that. But the point that I'm trying to get at is it, um, uh, we do have a slight idea of what specifically about me it is interested in that it wants. Um, because the first thing, huh? Yes. Say it seems to be interested in your species, if that's what I'm getting at. Uh, yes, essentially. I mean, here it has, uh, well, I mean, on Zatori, it has access to the intelligent species that live on Zatori. This, uh, well, with maybe your occasional, uh, alien thrown in. Um, yeah, space penguins, they're. Right. say those sort of things within right. this galaxy i think would be a safe assumption generally most of them would be yes um yeah statistically speaking but um uh, it remarked on the fact that uh, i was not human um that i was Falagrayan, um, and well, I mean, it was in my head. It knew what that meant, uh, even if it had just learned it. But it remarked specifically on the fact that I could, in its words, cheat death, and that this might be exactly what it needed. I. That might be a clue to what its goals are. Uh, we've had a few different theories, but not a lot of solids. Uh... Yeah, not a lot of solid things to grasp on. Right. I mean, cheat death, that could mean in more trying to find immortality 
immortality. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's sure. The first, that's the first thing that has me off the top of my head. Which, right. not an uncommon, say, mm -mm. Vi thing that villains want. <laughs> Quite. Um, I, I just, I just, I, I don't, I wonder if that's, if that's the end goal, or if it's only a piece of its project, its uh, desire, the, the, the organization's um, desire. I, I don't know. Because, I mean, it's not like... Tunes are highly resilient, yes, but they're hardly the most long-lived species on Zatori. I mean, you have elves. Yes, they are definitely one of the longer-lived species, depend depending on who you ask. Technically, you we don't know... Age is different. Yes, age is very different with us tunes. Mm -hmm. We can have the normal lifespan of a human or have lifespan of the elves. Eventually, we will give way, but... Mm -hmm. No one, there's no set, how can I, how no can rule. I, no rule, per se. No, and it would, well, with the erasures especially, it would be difficult to determine something like that, but even, even if the erasures didn't exist, you, in the grand scheme of things, you're still a relatively new species. Yes. We have been around for a while, but again, that's rel it's relatively new, even with all the erasures. You were right. Mm -hmm. However, I was one to hear about Crystal and that one child that they mm. talked about. I did hear a little bit on that. How they were mixing real kind with tomb kind DNA. Mm -hmm. Trying to combine together. Mm -hmm. Maybe with the Im immortality angle, they're literally trying to make a perfect being that at least has a much longer lifespan than any non-real kind, mm -hmm. trying to make things consistent in a way. Mm -hmm. It it lines up with the rest of what they've been doing. Um, gathering uh, sort of raw ink, so to speak. Uh, and well, it, um, uh, if you're going to be combining real kind with tune kind, uh, with, uh, longevity, uh, being one of the priorities, Time Zars would certainly be a desirable, uh, contributor to that recipe. He nods. Yeah, since... I mean, compared to even the longest-lived species here on Zatori, mm -hmm. you're almost, like, godlike in a way. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... He kinda... He kinda, like, scratches the back of his head. Yeah, maybe not my best choice of words, but... No, but you wouldn't be the first. See, um, uh, there have been... Hmm, before we sort of became... Uh, before we mm, took on a sort of position of non-interference, there were time stars who uh, set themselves up as gods, and... Well, I mean... I, I mean, knowing what... I know that doesn't surprise me in the least bit. Oh, that's right. You met Epsilon. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well. It's. Yes, and that would work. And 
uh, it would even the creation, the the um, formation of something new. It it lines up with uh, the sort of influence of of the thunder. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I also heard of that Lathander. That's an interesting god to say the least. Yes. I mean, there's definitely your story tropes of light going to hmm. light being evil instead of good. Oh yes. Sort of, sort of the thing to getting too close to the sun to be burned. That sort of metaphor. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact. Um... Uh, in uh, times of our society, generally speaking, uh, the sort of light-dark dichotomy, uh, brightness is um, uh, is more uh, perceived as uh, undesirable, uh, while dark is more inviting. Huh. It's interesting. Though I have, I'm curious, Professor. Mm. When you regenerate, mm -hmm. what kind of energy does that give off? <laughs> because you physically change with your regenerations, if, I, if you told yes. me this correctly. Right. Right. That in itself is an act of creation in some way. Oh, absolutely. Transformation, so what, creation. What kind of magic is that? It's mm, uh, well, it's um that's difficult because it's not strictly speaking magic as most people around here understand it. Uh, the closest you might be able to categorize it as uh, would be. Uh, something like, um, uh, well, sort of the, um, uh, c uh, closer to the, uh, the actual regeneration spell or the reincarnation spell. Um, only it's, it's not, it's not magic that can be affected in the same way as uh, it, it's not magic in the way that it can be um, uh, uh, disrupted by an anti-magic field or uh, siphoned away by a, a um, uh, oh, what do you call the uh, thomivores? That's the ones. Yes, thomivores, yes. Yes. It's not it's not the same. It's... It's... In societies... What? I have a theory. Hmm. And maybe... Maybe... Because it's getting... what? It's getting ink from the well of inspiration. It's magic, but it's technically not your usual magic. It's more akin to... God power. Mm. With the since you were you you were cre say your kind were created by the gods and they were you were recreated to live long to regenerate like this. Well, is maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm off base, but maybe that sort of maybe that sort of regeneration magic is godlike in some similar sense. Or am I off base? Well, all right. Can my mic pick me up? Yes. Oh, there we go. Uh, my mic. Um, trying to make connections right now. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I, I don't know. We didn't. Um, hmm. Most. Father Grains would argue that we weren't created by the gods. Um, mm, that's, that sort of gets into uh, theological debate. We certainly weren't created uh, 
whole cloths are fully developed by like um uh i don't know a, a few of the other um known species where god just sort of you know just waved their hand and they had people but eh, regardless of what we were originally we uh, re-engineered ourselves into time czars and we did use some sort of uh, celestial uh, sources in uh manipulating our forms but it's not I know what kind of energy uh, regeneration gives off what I'm having trouble with is is how to because I can tell you that it's Artron energy but I, I don't know how to explain to you what that is yeah, maybe say uh, that feels like it's getting a bit over my head. Though with a hyper intelligent being like we're dealing with, maybe they want to experiment with that or something. Again, with the angle, again with immortality, trying to create a kind of perfect being. It would be, uh, at first glance, we would be. Uh, fantastic subjects for that. I would be a fairly good uh, test subject. But the problem and uh, one sort of uh, saving grace, one sort of caveat that's keeping me from uh, completely losing my cool is that uh, Times ours, thankfully, had the foresight to make ourselves rather difficult to duplicate. Um, you can't turn into what times are using the um, uh, the uh, reincarnation spell. You can't. Um, you can't uh, create a um, regeneration capable times are with uh, the clone spell or with polymorph or uh, any number of um, standard uh, common magics. Wish spell might get you there. Yeah, um, but that's ninth level. Oh, yes. That's even with beings that have great power, something like a ninth level spell has to take time and preparation. Especially a wish spell in particular. Absolutely. Eh. And even then, it, um, eh. It might not work quite the way someone would want it to. We've, uh, Aside from cloning magic, there's, well, not here, but elsewhere, there's uh, cloning science. I mean, you have it in stories here, but uh, making a clone of another person with no magic involved is a very uh, real um, possibility. Yes, in other places in the universe and other times. Uh, but even that, uh, we've been able to foil uh, sort of by, I mean, because we, we essentially rewrote our own uh, DNA, uh, we just sort of set it up to, um, uh, well, it does a few things. Uh, once the once the individual is uh, is dead, is killed, um, we're supposed to uh, sort of self-immolate, uh, burn up, so there's no evidence. If that doesn't happen, uh, or if you uh, 
mm, remove a, a piece of a person um, to use as a, a tissue sample, um, it uh, it is set up to decay very quickly, to denature very quickly, so it becomes useless. Um, yeah. So it definitely say which thank God he did not get a sample of you, but mm -hmm. it say even then we will at least have some fail safes to do. Oh, it would at the very but least it... buy you some time. Yes, buy time. That was the words what I was looking for. Right. And however oh. there's another point that this thing if I basically heard correctly mm. it made the city it its whole goal was to make well a terrarium mm -hmm. and say a self-contained self as a protect perpetuating basically terrarium mm -hmm. where it can get information easily and fast and quickly mm -hmm. however even then, we only say everything on this planet is dictated by this planet or, at most, this galaxy. There are limits. There are definitely limits, I agree, but you basically are, well, the Holy Grail. <laughs> you have seen so much. You have seen other magic in galaxies and species that... Mm -hmm. I think I agree the immortal angle is definitely another one go but I definitely think that would be another reason why it really wanted you mm -hmm. to expand its library per se right if it didn't get everything in that first sort of plunge eh, well Which, it would want more but, yeah it would basically be like the addicting taste in a way. Just mm. one, say, you have one drop or one mind dive and you got to have more. Mm -hmm. Which, hopefully, if that's the case, it will become reckless. Because mm. as much as power corrupts, so, it is no so can knowledge. Mm. And I... There's just so much to take in with this situation. Just tell me And about so many it. angles that it can go. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I do think our, at least, my, Sally can handle the university. But I really don't like you being out on the streets of Phil's town because we don't know how much information it took. It can know that Ellie is here right now. I know. And try to... I know. Look. I... I think it was passed around as an idea, but I really would like you to like move in with in the castle with us i'm pretty sure that jewel has who knows a four-armed robot that can carry ellie all the way to the castle <laughs> i'm not i wouldn't be very surprised if she had a four-armed robot but for your safety and the ellipsis I, I won't make you do anything that you want to. But at least there, you would literally have a fortress to protect yourself and the ellipsis. Mm -hmm. I... Uh, I can't. I, I, I can't hide away. I'll, I'll drive myself nuts. I mean, you don't have to. 
you yourself don't have to hide away, but at least have the ellipsis in the castle. She'll at least be protected 24-7. Well, she can... Um, for the most part, I'm not terrifically worried about her. There's, Even if it did get everything out of my head, there's... It simply doesn't have the capabilities to breach your defenses, even even in the middle of repairs. It's... Look, if you really think so, I will trust your judgment. I just worry as a friend and... I know. I do appreciate the offer. Very much. But I think... I think I'll be better here for now. It's... It's not... It's under University City, and... Town is... Yes, within the same country, uh, but far enough away that I don't have to worry about it bursting out of the ground here. No, but I worry about it controlling someone else again. That's also been a big burden on my mind. Hmm. After a basically controlled Amos like a puppet... Mm -hmm. I worry about who will it want to puppeteer next. That's my biggest worry right now. Which, yes. honestly, it even pains me to be even this far away from Selly just because of that knowledge. Mm -hmm. and I've been having similar anxieties and fears. I I don't know. I think I just have to keep that... being vigilant. Yeah, I don't know either. As long as we're both vigilant and we keep each other very much in the loop of things. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know that I never want to, like, monitor you or hmm. anything like that, but I really do think that we need to at least keep each other in more of the loop of where we are, where we're going, what we're doing, much, say, at least, at least more often than not, like, you know, you, it's, it's ain't well. Like, things happen. Mm -hmm. But at least ASAP, if something happens, mm -hmm. contact each other. Just because of how bad this data breach could possibly be. Perhaps. On the other hand, keeping each other informed. That's a double-edged sword. If we keep each other informed well enough, then if it nabs one of us, it has everything. And that's sort of the crux of it, too. It's just like, I know that's also a thing, but at the same time, if we don't get each other informed, it could be equally worse. Disastrous. Absolutely. There is basically no good outcome plan that we can make right now mm. that will be absolutely perfect for every situation but i rather be informed than not be informed but <laughs> maybe that's just because i'm a wizard <laughs> <sighs> I'll, 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 I'll keep you updated. Um, keep in touch more than I usually do. 
All right. Is there anything else you want to talk about, Professor? I just... I want to make sure you're okay. And if you need me to do anything, I will do it. Hmm. Thank you, but... I think... I can't think of anything. Um... I'm... I am alright now. I'm working through everything. I was... Uh, just really frustrated with how I reacted initially, but not much I could do about it. He nods. See, for how this outcome has come about, it, in all honesty, was probably the best case situation. Not perfect, but at least for what happened, best case scenario, scenario, if you know what I mean. Perhaps. I... I still don't... I still don't... I'm not sure if I fully understand what... What was the purpose of, of what happened that day? It was... Collecting... And destroying information. But why didn't it have access to it sooner? It's... It... It can grab any of the could have grabbed any of the professors. It had Amos. It could deliver books. It could have him read the records and then just absorb it from him. I I don't know. I, I, or, if it, or if it was trying to keep something from us. But I think that police, that could be a possibility. I agree. It could have nabbed any of the information. It probably has nabbed a lot of information, but why destroy it in that case? Mm -hmm. Other than maybe the idea of it was trying to hide something from us. Right. I just don't know what, what it could possibly... Hmm. We may have to... Hmm. <sighs> well... I'm hoping that we'll be able to get some more information soon with Detective Stagehand capturing one of the other members, apparently. Mm, that's right. We may be able to get more information off them. Perhaps. Possibly. Yes, more information would be good. I'm just worried. Is it? Though I feel like, in a way, time is of the essence. No, oh, I agree. Because... With... How powerful that thing is, and a possible organization backing it, mm -hmm. we literally don't know what step it will do next. No. We don't know how well in contact it is with the rest it could have forwarded most of what happened, most of what it learned from me the relevant stuff anyway oh, what a mess you can say that again <laughs> I just, let's see, I think we just need to take this, in a way, one day at a time. Hmm. Feels like. We don't know what it's gonna do, and we don't know what to do to it right now. Because with how massive that thing is just, at least on the surface level, mm -hmm. we don't know 
if it's even bigger than that, or if it does span the entire city in some way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But... <sighs> Baby steps, just... Yes. You are safe, and that's what matters right now. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we'll... We'll figure it out. Yep, I agree. We will figure it out. Um, is that tea ready? Oh, you've probably been ready. Um... Yeah, he'll, he'll, uh... He'll serve the tea and stuff. <laughs> Gribble's filed. One step. Let's start with maybe taking a breather and having some tea. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you for checking in on me. No problem, Professor. You're a good friend. I want to make sure you are safe. <laughs> what were you doing, by the, by the way? You, um... We're busy somewhere? It all started as a day going to muse a museum just to relax a little bit because a lot has happened and I thought, hey, look, there's some new exhibits in the Toontown Museum. I say, let's go, go, go over there, have some fun. I met some other friends of mine, uh, other friends of mine, and, and say, and well, new people too, but it's just like, yeah, this is gonna be a good day. Nope. Ninjas attacking. Ninjas. Ninjas. Of all the things, ninjas. <laughs> and I, I feel like that might be a good place to... <laughs> I think that would be a good place to end it off, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> Alright. Oh. Yay. Yay! This has been a good FES. Yeah, absolutely. All yeah. right. Uh, thank you for playing with me, and uh, thank you, people listening to the recording in the future. Yeah. Um, Hope we... you all have a good time zone. Yeah. Bye. Right. Bye.